As Nigeria celebrates its 64th year of independence, the conversation on ideological democracy continues to gain traction. This event, organized by the Diadem and Ifakoyijaye People's Democratic Party, brought together party leaders, world chairmen, and other stakeholders to emphasize the need for genuine change in governance structure at all levels across the country. If we can put our system, our institutions in order, then you see that everybody will sit up. Because it is the institution, it is the system that will tell you, listen, these are the electoral laws, these are the guidelines, these are the dictates of our constitution, you must follow it. If you don't follow it, these are the repercussions. And then the judiciary will be there to adjudicate accordingly. The need for us to come together as a nation, some persons will say sovereign national conference. But I want to say sovereign national conference is expensive for us at this moment. The way forward should be we had the opportunity of we the people of Nigeria in the 1963 constitution. That is the only constitution ever, you know, agreed upon it in this country that has the label we the people. Who are the people who saddle with the affairs of using the nation, they are our leaders. So how responsible are these leaders? Do we call them out? Do we follow up on them? So my only advice is for them to be politically conscious and to be conscious of the people we put in, put in power so that uh, the nation can move forward and also play their own role in being responsible citizens. Stakeholders advocated for a more people-centered approach to leadership. As 100,000 ideological organic members were launched, marking the beginning of a movement aimed at reshaping Nigeria's democratic landscape. I will advise that many of the youth should involve themselves in politics. We always see that it's none of our business. Instead of going in politics, we engage ourselves in Yahoo Yahoo stuff. So youth must come together and join politics. We have the power, we have the strength to make the changes we need. We have to be true to with ourselves and love because without love, there's nothing we can do. We have to love each other. We have to trust each other. Then we have to be transparent. If you come together to speak with one voice, it will, it will make us to achieve something in the country. While party members emphasize that the internal crisis within the PDP does not affect grassroots politics, citizens called for politics driven by ideology, hoping that this movement would bring lasting change to the nation's democratic process. Tongue and teeth, sometimes they do quarrel. And when they quarrel, all of them will also come back and then say to them, even siblings, they can, they can disagree. Eh? Don't forget that uh, people opposing themselves at the maybe state level, they come from different constituencies. Eh? They come from different local government, but they are working. PDP is working. At the grassroots. I just give us before December, everything will be over. We don't have problem in grassroots. We don't have problem. We are ready to work. We always be the ones to work. So we always do our best because we wish we should win election. Win election is the best. Additionally, a symbolic cake cutting ceremony took place to mark Nigeria's 64th independence anniversary. As a vibrant form fair walk, saw party members expressing optimism about the upcoming elections, urging voters to make decisions based on merit. Matthew Uguswada, reporting for Voice of the People TV.